So you want to create a template in Canva, and you want to create one that actually sells. But you have questions, you have concerns, like am I actually legally allowed to create templates in Canva? And will I actually be able to make a template that looks pro enough in order for it to not just sell, but sell well? Well, we're gonna answer these questions today in this video, along with how to make this Canva template step-by-step -step tutorial style, and how to package it all up and add your template links to a functioning PDF document so your completed product is ready to upload to wherever you're selling your digital products online. Let's get into it. So I'm sure you're sick of hearing to read the Canva licenses yourself. So I am not a lawyer, obviously, but I am going to offer you some guidance and point out what I think that you can do with these templates and elements as far as creating and selling your Canva templates are concerned. Yes, you can create and sell templates on Canva, whether you have a free account or a pro account. So we're on the terms of use right now for templates. And it says, we welcome people who would like to create and sell their own Canva made designs as templates that others can use on our platform. So what you can't do is you cannot resell the templates that Canva has already created because Canva has a lot of template options over here, right? So they have pre-made templates for you to use for your business or for personal use, but you can't resell these. Note, changing the content of a Canva template without completely changing the design is not creating your own work and is not allowed. Now, if you scroll down, you're gonna see that you can share your Canva template in two ways. So one way is if you have the pro account, and then the other way is if you have a free account. So when you have the pro account, you would go to share, and then you would click on this down arrow where it says share a link to view, and you would click share a link to use as a template. You can tell that it's a pro feature because it has this little crown icon. So when you click on that and you copy the link, this link is what you give to your customers. And we're gonna get to how you can deliver this link to your customers later in the video. But basically when they click on that URL, it's going to make a copy of the original template so they can go ahead and edit it and it will not affect your original template. Now, if you have a free account, the link that you will be sharing is going to be this link, share a link to edit. And the problem with this is that your customers are going to need to remember or to know that they need to make a copy of that template in order to not alter your original design. Now, I can foresee a lot of issues with that and them forgetting or not reading the instructions. So I would definitely suggest that you get a pro account if you wanna sell templates. And I will link a 30-day free trial for Canva Pro in the description box below. Now, if you have a pro account, you have unlimited access to all of the pro elements and the pro fonts. If you have a free account, if you want to use a pro element, you need to pay $1 per element. I would not suggest that you actually use pro elements in your designs, though, because if your customers don't have a pro account, they're going to need to pay. And it's going to be watermarked like this when they get their template. So I can foresee a lot of problems if you do use pro elements in your designs, so I definitely suggest that you don't do this. You do get to use the pro fonts, and customers that have a free Canva account can edit pro fonts. I know it's a little confusing because the pro elements are watermarked, but the pro fonts are not. And I've tested this. I have templates available on my Etsy shop, and they include pro fonts. So if you're thinking of creating and selling templates on Canva, I definitely suggest that you get a pro account. One, because of the way you can share your templates with your customers. Two, because you get access to all of the pro fonts and your customers, even with a free account, can edit them. And three, because if you're creating other digital products other than templates, then the elements can still be used in your designs without the watermark for your customers if you're downloading it as a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG. I hope that this cleared up some of the use cases for pro and templates and the elements and fonts. All right, let's talk about design hacks that will make your templates look pro. So you wanna keep two things in mind. That is color theory and typography. So these are two things that designers understand and how they create aesthetically pleasing designs. But you don't need to be an experienced designer to use these techniques. And I'm gonna show you how you can use these techniques super simply so you can make an amazing design. So you want to limit the amount of colors that you use in your templates. You don't want it to look really messy and you want the colors to be complementary. And to find these complementary colors, you can go on Pinterest and just type in brand palette. You can scroll through and see which brand palette catches your eye. 
Also, if you have a specific color you want to use in mind, just type in the color and then brand palette, and then you can see more options with the color of your choice. So for your font pairing, you can do the same exact thing. You can type in font pairs and just take a look on Pinterest and see what pops up. Now for fonts, you do want to make sure that they are in Canva already because you can't really gift people the font to edit it in the template. So I would say as far as fonts go, just make sure they're already in Canva and Canva Pro has a ton of great font options. So you really aren't limited here. So if you save this image from Pinterest and then you upload it into Canva, what you can do is go to elements, click on a shape that you can change the color of, click on the color square, like you're going to change the color, and you'll see that suggested colors are being taken from the photo you added to your canvas. So then what you wanna do is copy and paste those hex numbers into a notepad or a text document so you can then add those hex numbers to a color palette on Canva. When you do this, then when you are ready to design, you will see all of your brand colors in the panel on the left-hand side. So this makes it super easy to use your colors when designing. Another awesome feature is that Canva actually has font combinations. So they have an array of different font combinations that you might wanna look through instead of using the Pinterest method that we talked about. For this video, we are going to make a workbook slash ebook template. You'll either want to create your workbook template in letter size or you'll want to use A4. So I'm going to use letter size and we're going to start by kind of using this template over here as the guide. So I'm going to go ahead and actually use these colors up here and then for my fonts, I'm actually going to use Canva's already pre-made font pairings. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Okay, so to create this cover, we're gonna to go to photos and you can search a word if you're looking for a specific photo. So I'm gonna use this photo and I'm gonna drag it into the background. If you double click it, then you can slide it around to choose a different section of the image. Now, if you go to position and hit center, it's gonna center whatever you're selected on. Now let's go to colors. I'm gonna use this color and then copy and paste. And that was just Command C and Command V on my Mac. Make it a little bit wider actually and a little bit shorter this way. Position, center. And then I'm gonna make this one a lighter color. Let's do green. And let's say you wanted this to be a lighter shade of one of your colors, you can slide it like so. Okay, now I'm gonna take my font and see how when I dragged it up here, you can't see it? Well, what you're gonna do is you're going to hit position and then you're gonna bring it forward. So all of these elements are layers and this text layer was in the back. So now, when I'm dragging the text around, they're stuck together. So you can just hit ungroup, and then you'll able to just grab the individual lines of text. If you wanted to regroup, you can click on the text, then you hold down shift on your keyboard, and you click the other text, and then you hit group. But we're gonna keep it ungrouped. I'm gonna change this to a not so dark black. There we go, and I'm going to say by your name. I'm just copying and pasting this and I'm going to deselect uppercase only. Then I'm gonna to go to elements and type line and maybe I wanna do a little dotted line here. Position, center, Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do on this cover is copy and paste this square, and I'm going to make a little footer here. And then I'm gonna take this, copy and paste, pull this down, position, center, 
I think that looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to add a page and I'm going to create something that looks like this. First, what we wanna do is grab that text combo. I'm gonna make this smaller, just see. So this text over here, you can just Google dummy text, I think. Boom. So I'm going to left justify worksheet and then left justify this dummy text. You can also change the letter width over here and the line height. Now something that helps a lot is, let's say you wanted to add this footer to every single page, you could copy it and then you could paste it. Just like that, and when you copy it and then go to the next page and paste it, it's in the exact same spot. Now, if you want to include an image like this, you can go to elements, then you go to frames, go to photos, And the reason why you want to add a frame first is because most of the time when creating templates, people will only include the stock imagery for the listing photos, but then they'll remove the imagery from the actual template that they're selling. You don't need to remove them depending on the licenses for the stock photography, but if you don't add a frame, then you will need to include the stock imagery in your template, otherwise there won't be a photo placeholder because when you delete the photo, it just deletes everything. You can also adjust this image by making it brighter and changing the tint a little bit, so maybe to match more of your style and your color palette, and you can also add filters. Now, as you can see, these are not evenly spaced, so if you wanted them to be, you can highlight all of four and then go to position and then do vertically. And then what it's gonna do is align all of these lines of text evenly. Elements, square. Line it up with the purple lines. And I'm going to change this transparency to 50. Okay, so I'm not gonna obviously do the whole workbook, but that looks pretty good. Now, this is the last page of my lead magnet, but I'm going to edit it so it's the PDF that people actually receive when they download their purchase from Etsy or your website. So for example, this is one of my thank you card templates and when someone downloads it, this is actually what they see. And when they click open template, it brings them to Canva. So for example, then they will see this screen and they're gonna click use template because I have a pro account, Canva is going to make a copy for them. And so when they edit this template, it doesn't affect the original that I created on Canva in my account. So to create this document, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. There are so many templates that you can work off of for this purpose. So I created this fake button by using a pink square and then just forming it into this rectangle and then by taking another square the same size and then just moving it a few pixels down and out and making it gray so it looks like a fake shadow. So now what you can do to make this look professional is you can take your template cover and you can download it as a JPEG or a PNG, it doesn't matter. We just want the first page. Now you can upload the image of your template cover. You can go to elements, go to frames, 
and then you can drag your cover in there. And you can also change the color. Okay, so what you're gonna do is click where it says click here for your template, and you're gonna add a link. So let's say this is your template, and what you're gonna do is you're going to click share, and then share a link to use as a template. And you're gonna copy that link. And this, of course, you need Pro, because you can see right here it has the crown icon. Then you're going to go to your PDF that you're going to upload into wherever you're selling online. You're going to click on the text that's on your fake button, and you're going to add the link. And you're going to hit apply. I would also do that to the button, the pink, because people might click on the wrong part. You're going to click apply. You can also add like instructions on this, on this PDF, and you can also add these clickable icons so people can go right to your shop, right to your Instagram account. So then you're going to download this page. So you're going to download it as a print PDF, and we only want to download page seven. Boom. And then you're going to upload it into Etsy, okay? Once someone purchases the listing, they're gonna have the option to download this PDF. And when they download it, they're gonna open it up and it's gonna look like this. And then they're going to click on this template link and boom, it's gonna bring them right to Canva and to their template. Now, if they don't have a Canva account, it's gonna ask them to create one. It's totally free, so they shouldn't have a problem with that. And once they have an account, they're gonna click use template. And now they can edit this template. They can add their own information. And that is it. All right, guys, if this video was helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.